Dick Murdoch has attacked Ted DiBiase before the bell can even ring here in Oklahoma City at the Myriad Center. Dick Murdoch against Ted DiBiase, our Power Pro Wrestling main event. I'm Joel Watson. I'll be calling the action for you as Ted DiBiase is firing back. You can see that black glove on his hand there. Ted DiBiase, power slam. Right off the bat, he has Murdoch in a bad way. So I was saying the black glove, conspicuous on the hand of Ted DiBiase. We haven't seen it for a while, but I wouldn't be surprised if Ted still has the thing laying around somewhere. Dick Murdoch on the outside of the ring now. Tommy Gilbert is the referee for this match, but uh, I'm sure he's going to have his hands full against these two. A lot of animosity between Murdoch and Ted DiBiase, and of course it all started when Ted DiBiase went against Nature Boy Ric Flair on Mid-South Television for the NWA World's Heavyweight title. Dick Murdoch brain-busted Ted DiBiase on the floor after that match, and a lot of people thought we wouldn't see Ted DiBiase ever wrestling again. But DiBiase's a great athlete, and he came out of it unscathed, and now he's going against a man who has perpetrated the harm on him, Dick Murdoch. Collar and elbow tie-up, Murdoch, a high knee lift into the midsection. Probably not going to see a whole lot of technical moves in this match, even though DiBiase is a great technical wrestler, as is Murdoch. I think we're going to see a lot of brawling just because of the hatred and animosity between these two. DiBiase blocking the right and connecting with one of his own on Murdoch. Murdoch staggered and dropped to the ground on that one. DiBiase going to the outside of the ring. Pardon me, Murdoch going to the outside of the ring. DiBiase falling out after him. Large majority of this match is fought out on ringside. This match took place at New Year's Eve in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Murdoch with a nice move. What strategy? Murdoch jumped over that ring barricade and caught DiBiase completely off guard. Referee Tommy Gilbert with the count there. Murdoch rolling back into the ring. Once again, Murdoch takes advantage of DiBiase's positioning there and hammers him over the back of the head. Captain Redneck Dick Murdoch could be so dangerous, so powerful. He's both of these men are, are extremely deceptive in the fact that they don't they don't really look like bodybuilders, but both of them are extremely strong and can keep up with just about anybody in the strength department. But where their prowess lies is that tremendous agility and stamina, especially in the case of Murdoch, seemingly endless natural stamina, a lot of reach, and they definitely know how to use their leverage. DiBiase, I think, has the upper hand in the quickness department on Murdoch. And even though he doesn't have quite the ring experience that Murdoch does, I think he's mastered just as many holds, just as many moves as Murdoch has, if not more. Murdoch with a hard turnbuckling to the head of DiBiase. You can see DiBiase kicking his feet. He's in a lot of pain right now. And Murdoch. Murdoch a lot of times tries to even intimidate the referee. The referee will scold him for something he's done, and Murdoch just stands there stoic. Doesn't even respond sometimes. It's a little kid in some ways. Murdoch going out onto the onto the floor after DiBiase. Fires DiBiase's head into that ring announcer's table there on the outside of the ring. DiBiase looks like he's in a bad predicament. See, even the fans are getting out of the way of Murdoch. Oh, man. DiBiase thrown hard into that table once again. And Murdoch has really put the punishment to DiBiase. Like I said before, oh, look at this. DiBiase's been lacerated. His head really connected with that table. Referee Tommy Gilbert on the outside of the ring there checking DiBiase to make sure he's okay. Tommy Gilbert's a fine ref, and like I said before, he definitely has his hands full in this match. 
if you can call it a match. It's more like a fight. Murdoch kicking DiBiase down on the outside of the ring using once again the positioning aspect. Murdoch's up there three feet elevated above DiBiase. He has a definite advantage. DiBiase getting up slow. You can see he's in a lot of pain and that crimson really starting to flow. It looks as if he suffered a deep laceration. A lot of things happening in the UWF area now. Ted DiBiase is back in action. It'll be good to see him teaming back up again with Dr. Death Steve Williams. I'm sure they've got a score to settle with the Sheep Herders. Eddie Gilbert has been challenging them recently to take on the Blade Runners. Murdoch with the arm whip. He goes for the elbow. DiBiase turns the tables. DiBiase connected with a right and staggered Murdoch once again. Murdoch still with the momentum, however. That right slowed him down, but Murdoch was quick to the attack. And look at this. He is really blistering DiBiase. Look at that kick. Straight to the neck. Like I said before, this, this is just an out-and-out -out brawl between these two men. There's still a little bit of technique, however. If anybody who's been in a fight knows, you've got to know a little bit of wrestling. Helps you out. DiBiase. Hammers Murdoch back with a right hand of his own. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, but we're going to have to break for a commercial commitment here in just a moment. We'll be back with the remainder of this match shortly. But first, let's go back to Jim Ross. Thanks a lot, Joel, and we'll be back to Oklahoma City's Myriad Center and more of Joel Watt's commentary after this timeout from the station. Back with more action here on Power Professional Wrestling. This is our main event. Ted DiBiase going against Captain Redneck Dick Murdoch. And if you've just joined it, joined us, it's been a great match up till this point. This match coming to you from the Oklahoma City Myriad. New Year's Eve of 1985. Ted DiBiase and Dick Murdoch. With quite a, a great deal of animosity between the two of them because of what happened in the match between DiBiase and Ric Flair. Murdoch brain busted Ted DiBiase on the floor. It looked as if DiBiase's wrestling career was over. But DiBiase's getting some revenge here as he has really put it to Dick Murdoch, who has now lacerated as well as DiBiase. Majority of this match being fought out on the floor. Not a whole lot of technical maneuvers, just a whole lot of brawling and rights and lefts thrown. Murdoch barely able to even stand up as DiBiase lashing out at him with those lefts. A big right sends Murdoch down to the canvas. Ted DiBiase is back in the UWF area. A lot of things happening. It's going to be interesting to see what Skandar Akbar does now that Ted DiBiase has turned his back on Akbar and gone to the other side of the fence, so to speak. Akbar has challenged DiBiase publicly, of course, challenged him to matches with Kamala. Those will definitely be classic battles. Of course, Ted DiBiase probably will be teaming up with Dr. Death in the future. I can't wait to see him go against, those two go against the Sheep Herders. I think they owe the Sheep Herders a taste of revenge. And of course, Ed, Eddie Gilbert has challenged DiBiase and Doc to go against the Blade Runners. Murdoch raking the eyes of Ted DiBiase. Referee Tommy Gilbert watching Murdoch. But look at DiBiase. It looked like DiBiase was adjusting that black glove. I'm sure uh, DiBiase came prepared for this match. Like I said before, a lot of animosity between these two. And uh, there again, DiBiase might have just been putting it back onto his hand, but then again, he might have been slipping something into it as Murdoch takes him up over the iron barricade and drops him across his neck. Murdoch quickly turned the tide. And watch this, Murdoch, a master tactician. He slides into the ring for just a moment to break the count and then goes back out while he's on a, working on a fresh 10 count and gets a chair to attack DiBiase. Tommy Gilbert coming out of the ring now to try and put a stop to this. 
Murdoch putting DiBiase in a very dangerous situation now. And Tommy Gilbert, of course, I don't think he's going to be able to stop Murdoch physically. All he could do is threaten him with a disqualification. And there he gets that chair out of there. But this match has broken down to be just a back alley street crawl. As Tommy Gilbert is doing all he can to keep it under control. DiBiase getting up slowly, and you can hear the displeasure of the fans as Murdoch blatantly breaking the rules to gain the upper hand on DiBiase. Oh, man. That Murdoch had a handful of hair in that one. There's Tommy Gilbert reprimanding Murdoch. And Murdoch making motions like he was going to hit Gilbert. Gilbert tries to even intimidate, the, or pardon me, Murdoch tries to even intimidate the referee when he's in a match. So often he just stands there stoic and just doesn't even care. The referee is reprimanding him. Murdoch going right after DiBiase. Snapmare. Oh, a hard elbow. This looks like it could be it for Ted DiBiase. But look at these two men. They are both practically out on their feet. Even though they both have so much stamina and agility, I'm sure there was a lot of nervous energy expended before this match, too. That can oftentimes play a, a great deal in the in the stamina aspect because if you're if you're worried about your opponent before the match, you can expend a lot of energy just through anxiety. Murdoch with a hard kick to the head. And here the people are definitely behind Ted DiBiase. Hard arm whip into the turnbuckles. And look at this maneuver. I've seen Murdoch use it before. It's just on the edge of legality because he's using that, he's coming off the top rope. But since he was connected to his opponent the entire time and didn't actually lose contact with him as he came off the top rope, that move is legal. Like I said before, it's just on the edge of legality, and the people here in Oklahoma City are not very pleased. And Ted DiBiase looks like, well, this looks like it's going to be it, but DiBiase kicks out. Murdoch spent a little bit too much time heckling the fans as he gave DiBiase that added edge, that little extra time. What's DiBiase doing? DiBiase looks to be doing something possibly adjusting his glove. I don't know what's going on. DiBiase looks like he's setting for the, for the brain buster. He certainly has Ted primed and ready for it. Murdoch getting ready to go up with it. DiBiase kicked his legs over. He kicked him over and bam! He hammered Murdoch. I don't know if he had that glove loaded, but he knocked him out. Ted DiBiase defeats Dick Murdoch here in Oklahoma City. Let's go back to Jim.